The very first thing we did was we, we wanted a way to figure out what these kids what's really going through their head and one way we did that was we created a survey kind of see where these kids are at and what their situations are at home the program we're going to create you know we had to cater that to them we had to understand what kind of equipment they have whether or not they have a barbell that or not they have a dumbbell they might not have anything at all so we had to take all these things in consideration and we said if we had to design a program to where the kids had zero equipment how could we do that without turning it into just an activity-based program. We wanted a performance-based program. So we followed our rules that we would for any program out there. Uh, we wanted it to be progressive, we wanted it to be varied, and we wanted it to be appropriately demanding. It's a lot of speed and, and power work right now because that's kind of the stuff that loses that we lose first. So we're not really too worried about not having access to a gym, but everyone has access to the outdoors and they can really get outside, they can sprint, they can jump and do all those sorts of things. We got the staff, we brought them together, started talking about it a little bit before we actually started putting their program together. Uh, right now our communication with staff is, we're, we're communicating in one of three ways. So either we're meeting in person briefly, over the phone or through video conferencing. Um, once we kind of talk about our daily assignments and things that need to get done, we go off, we handle our business. When we put pen to paper on this whole thing, it was a really exciting time uh, because I felt like there were a lot of people out there. I mean, of course, uncertainty is looming. And, you know, how are we going to address this unprecedented situation? Working along those parameters, I think getting getting acclimated in that sense, you know, the same way our kids are adjusting to the same things we are as a staff. Um, we're learning to work within those guidelines. Really, we were just fortunate that we were on spring break. Our kids were on spring break, which allowed us to be able to see what was out there. And we weren't rushed to have to put out a program in one or two days like a lot of people were forced to. We were able to kind of look at things online and see what we liked, what we didn't like, and kind of make a plan from there. Every day has basically three components that they're gonna be focused on. Speed, strength, and conditioning. It's the same exact thing that would be happening right now if everyone was here in person. What we did was created a series of buckets and within the buckets, we put the items that needed to go in there based on what week we were on, what day we were on, and where we felt like they were gonna be optimized uh, for that period of time. So once we kind of figured out what we're doing with the room and what we're doing with our program, once we got that all laid out there, we're finding some strategies, we're, we're putting some things in place, some systems where we can actually reach out to these kids. The app that we actually use to push the workouts to the athletes is called Team Builder. We've been using Team Builder now for the better part of four years. It's kind of how we handle all of our take-home programs, and it really lets you dive deep into the individualization and functionality of what these kids have to do when they're at home in different scenarios. GroupMe's been the, the primary one. We're also coming into uh, a position where we need to call these players. We're trying to make things a little bit more personable. Some kids may not come out and say things in a GroupMe. They may not have, you know, maybe they don't have the confidence. They're just not really really just scared. They don't really want to ask a question. So we want to actually reach out to them, ask them if they have any questions. We felt like with that sort of all hands on deck approach and reasoning behind it, that we were really going to give our kids a fighting chance to come back here and be ready to go whenever it's time.